My lab is interested in fish mechanics and evolution with the goal of not only understanding how fish evolved and why and how they have the sizes and shapes they do, but also using information about fish to design new generation of underwater robotic devices that will enable us to uh, build small maneuvering robots that are autonomous and yet are quiet and move using the principles derived from understanding how fish swim through the water. So we study live fish to understand the principles by which they move, they bend their bodies, their muscles work, their fins and bodies push on the water. And then we study a variety of robotic devices that we've built based on principles learned from the fish. And the device you see in the background here actually is a simple robotic controller that moves a flapping membrane, a simple membrane that you can see here suspended in the uh, flow tank in order to better understand how the foil moves and how it produces forces on the fluid, we use high-speed cinematography and we also use particle image velocimetry, which is a technique that allows you to quantify the flow of water over a moving object such as you see here. And to do that, we shoot lasers at the water. That laser light reflects off of small particles and we can use software then to analyze the motion of those particles and determine how the water was pushed on by the bending uh, flexible foil that you see moving now. This is a robotic pectoral fin that was designed by Professor James Tangora's lab at Drexel University. It's been one of our closest collaborators on fish robotic projects and it's composed of a fin membrane here that's a very biomimetic like imitation of an actual sunfish pectoral fin and it contains individual fin rays and a web like membrane. Each of these rays is controlled by individual tendons attached to motors and the whole device is computer controlled so we can move the fin in a wide variety of ways under computer control and the whole fin sits in a flow tank in a fish treadmill as the fin flaps back and forth we can measure the forces that the fin is generated, measure the fluid flow over the fin, and begin to understand then, using a simple robotic device, how fish fins move and generate force when they flap back and forth in the water. This is a robotic fish body and tail fin, and it's designed to help us understand how fish tail motions influence different locomotor performances of fish, and how the um, stiffness of individual fin rays in the tail influences the ability of fish to uh, generate force. And so we can trade out these fin rays, which you see here in the tail membrane, with, for ones of different stiffnesses. These are 3D printed, and we can swap these out to study the effect of stiffness on performance. Now, this robot was designed by Professor James Tangora of Drexel University, and its use for our collaborative projects on um, fish tail function. The tail fin rays here are uh, actuated through little tendons which pierce through the body, come back, and allow us to move the tail under computer control and to measure the forces that the robot generates during swimming and to see the effect of different types of movements on the fin um, and their effect on force generation. That's something you can't do in a live fish, of course, but the robot enables us to manipulate individual parameters and understand better how fish are generating thrust and side forces when they swim.